Welcome to the Pong Scratch Challenge. I'm going to show you the challenge. And in this one, I'm just going to give you one really quick hint. This one is really up to you to figure out. You're in advanced challenges and you're going to have to experiment and play. So this is the game Pong, one of the classic arcade games. I use the mouse to control where the purple paddle is and the blue ball bounces around. And if it hits the black, it restarts again. And I lose a life. And if I lose all my lives, it stops and says game over. So that's your challenge. If you feel you got this, jump into Scratch. If not, stay tuned for hints. As I said, these hints are going to be a lot less than the previous challenges because I want you to work on this yourself and play with it and experiment. All right, so there are two things here for hints. I'm gonna make a new project. Instead of the cat, I'm gonna choose a ball. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the cat. So the one hint I'm gonna give you is when it hits the paddle, it has to change direction. So in other words, if the ball is going this way and it hits the paddle, here, and you want it to bounce off that way. So how do you do that? Well, the code to do that is you could use point and direction, but how do you know what direction to point in? Well, there's a variable that shows the current direction. And you can always calculate what direction to go in from the current directions. So in other words, you're going to use the direction that's going to figure out what direction to point. And under operators, there's a minus. And what you can say is point in direction 180 minus the current direction. And if you, you can drag that whole thing. And that, if I'm pointing down this way, and I click on this, you'll notice it pops up the opposite way. So that's the code for point and direction. The other code you might need is these variables called mouse X and mouse Y. And you will need this for controlling the paddle with the mouse. You won't need both of them actually, just mouse X. So those are my hints. The rest is up to you. Take your time, enjoy figuring it out. And if you get stuck, don't worry about it. That means it's a learning opportunity. All right, good luck and keep on scratching.